we continue to monitor the hospitals in New York City, the good news here, help is on the way for New York this morning. The USNS Comfort, which we've been monitoring, coming into New York Harbor, passing the Statue of Liberty, and with it, extra supplies and extra beds. Contessa Brewer here to explain. Contessa. Hi there, Sarah. Yeah, the uh, Comfort now is just pulling into dock here in Midtown Manhattan. It is coming in under the guidance of 75 professional mariners and more than 1,000 Navy medical personnel on board, as well as some civilian volunteers as well. These are folks who have been trained to respond in a wartime. They've responded to natural disasters, most recently Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico in Central and South America. And now they're coming to the nation's most populous city, a city that has just been crushed under these coronavirus cases, and they're ready to help here. They are, uh, as I said, a thousand beds on board. They have 80 ICU units, 50 ventilators, all for non-coronavirus patients. These would be patients suffering under heart attacks or stroke or other medical ailments. And I asked the commander of the medical treatment facility who was on deck this morning, I asked him, how do you make sure that people don't get coronavirus on board this ship? So everybody that came aboard the ship uh, has been previously screened prior to arrival. And then all of the patients that we will be receiving uh, as coordinated through the Java Center will be tested before they come aboard the ship. And I, I want to mention the Comfort is joining other emergency hospitals. So acute now is this demand that Mount Sinai will operate a medical tent erected in Central Park. A thousand emergency hospitals are going up in each city borough. Retired doctors and nurses, thousands of them being asked to respond to a desperate call for volunteers. The city's 911 system has broken records multiple times over this last week. More calls coming in than we saw even after 9-11. And the paramedics were quoted in the New York Times saying they were there on the scene deciding who gets to go to the hospital, who would benefit the most from treatment, and who it was just too late that there would be nothing more that the hospital could even do for you. Uh, an untenable situation for these first responders there. These are desperate times in this city and desperate measures being called in now, as you can see as the comfort comes in now to Pier 90 here in Midtown Manhattan, a sign that more help is on the way. We are expecting news conferences shortly from the mayor, Bill de Blasio, and from New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo here, Sarah.